this afternoon we're going to be making this pendant um it's kit dx it's kit dnxc81 um you've got 10 meters of 0.8 millimeter wire you've got 10 meters of 0.4 which you pretty much use most of but you do get plenty of the you do get some of the 0.8 left so i made the chain um from the kit also i'm using the um oblong kyanite cabochon which is stunning and the two mil um appetite rounds faceted rounds tools you're going to need round nose pliers flat nose pliers baling pliers if you want to make the chain um, and some cutters and I've used the smallest from the deluxe set of the um, gizmo coilers if you haven't got a small one you can use the 0.8 wire it's just a little bit harder to do so we're going to get started now I'm going to show you the weaves first if I show you the back of this okay so we have a central weave so this is done with five lengths of wire core wires of the 0.8 and that's it you're then using the weaving wire so all these are the same lengths of wire so we're starting off in the central bit you want five wires that are about 65 centimeters long possibly a bit longer but about 55 centimeters should do it um okay so we're going to start off but i'm going to show you the weaves on a shorter piece of wire because otherwise they'll be going all out of shot okay so i'm going to move these out of the way let's clear the decks and we can crack on with the demo so for the central bit i'm going to fetch that back in right in this central by the by behind the cab so it forms a platform for this cabochon to sit on and um, i've got the five wires and i've done a five weave um i call it like a basket weave okay so this is a reversible weave very easy very easy once you get a hang of it how to do it Okay, so we're going to start with our five wires. Now, you can move this weave, which I'll show you in a minute how to move it. So you can move this up and down. So if you, even I'm, I'm a tight weaver, but you can ease it. You have to ease it, but it does mean that you can do it not at the very end or uh, in the middle of your wires, because otherwise the wires start wobbling all over the place. It's easier to do it more to one side and then ease it into the middle so as you can see if you do it a little bit at a time you can move it along don't or you can pull these but then it starts getting a bit messy but just ease it along a little bit like a snake if you imagine so you've sort of opened that bit and chase the rest of it along so the weave itself so you start off you want a decent tail start off around one so i'm going to ignore that and imagine i've not done it Splay your wires a little bit if you can. So could you imagine if you've got another 30 centimetres of wire on the end, it starts getting a bit more difficult. So you're going to go around the bottom two wires, through the middle, around the next two wires, through the middle, around the next two wires, through the middle, around the top two wires and through the middle. Now we're going to go over the top. So you're coming down two wires, and going back through the middle this way down two wires back through the middle down two wires back through the middle down two wires back through the middle okay then you're going all the way around the bottom one and then you're ready so at the top and the bottom you should have two loops okay and you're going two 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 on the way up one 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 on the way down in the front if you turn that over so if I pull that out a bit, you can see you're getting two, two, two by two, and then you come down one by one. So the one looks straighter. If you turn it over, you're getting exactly the same, but obviously it's, it's kind of reversed. So where you were doing two before, you're doing one. So it, it doesn't matter which way round it goes. So we're going to push that all back up. You want to do enough to sit your cabochon on. So you you want it to sort of sit behind your cabochon, without overlapping okay we're then going to move on to a five and two weave so for this five and two weave you want to do 40 sets now it sounds a lot keep keep the faith you can do 20 and then stop do a bit more of the pendant and do the other 20 i've done all 40 just to make it easier to to um 
show you how. So when you get to the end of your basket weave, I'm going to pull these all out. There we go. You want to ignore the first one, ignore the top two. We're going to be weaving on these two. So take your wire. If you if you've only got a short piece of wire, you will use that later. So um, add in some new wire. This is the perfect time to add in your new wire. Now you're going to go. If I fetch this one in, so your your five wants to be on this wire. So your two is where your five is. So if I turn that over, it's easier to remember. So you're doing five around the central wire of the of, of the five wires. Three, four. Now because you're using point four with the point eight, and this point eight is beautifully soft and malleable. But it does mean when you've got longer lengths, it makes it a little... You have to have... Not harder, you just have to have a little bit more care when you're weaving. So you go five times round there. So when you're pulling it, don't pull there because you will pull the wire. Um, it means when you've wrapped it, you can manipulate the wire beautifully. It's so soft, it's gorgeous. Then you want to go round the two twice. Okay, so one... Two. Now that's what I'd call a set. Don't pull them too close. Can you see how I've left a gap there? Because you need to get that wire through and pull it all the way down and just push it down. Then it will be flush and neat. If you, if you tighten that, you won't be able to pull that single wire all the way through again. So don't pull the two until you've got that wire between. So we're doing five around that central wire. And you can see how I'm turning it. So it does make weaving a little bit slower, but it's worth it um, to get that neatness. One, two, three, four. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So when I go around the two, you note I don't pull it. I just bend it around the top. So that's the trick. Don't pull it. And I put my finger there to stop me having to pull it round. It just braces it. So that's just pulled it round. And then you pull through and now you can pull it tight. OK, and then you keep going. So you can do it in, in 20. The first stage is 20 or you can do all 40 altogether. Then you're going to end up with this. Now, I, I, we, we can't get far enough away. So we've got our central bit here. And then you're going to have your 40 on either side. Yeah. And then you've got some some extra wire on the ends. So so this is probably plenty, plenty too much, but it's the sort of design you can't do. Um, you can't do. Hang on a second. Zebedee. Sorry. You can't do if um, you can't add in very easily. OK, so once you've got to that stage, you've got your wires. I never trim off unless I'm absolutely definite that I don't need those wires. So if you can bear to leave them on, leave them on. The longer one I've added on my appetite for later. OK, so now we've got at this set stage, we're going to add in our kyanite. Let me turn that over. So we want to be coming over the corner. So this is going to tie it in. So I can now get rid of this wire don't need that one anymore because it's going to be in the way so I want to fetch it over now if you can use them both at the same time we don't want the pair we want the woven part and the single wire and you want to bend it over and you're going to just come in the corner now don't worry your kyanite is going to move it will firm up so we're just going to take it to that place for now and we're going to do the same on the other side so we're going to take the single see I've bound these together that's another thing you can do is temporarily just wrap a bit of wire around it just to stabilize them slightly while you do it so we're going to pop that back in and we're going to go over so this is the the just catching the corner is what you want to be doing and then we're going to fetch that around in a curve. So we're going to come back down to there. So just form that in a bit of a curve. And don't worry if your kyanite comes out at this stage. 
it's not the, the end of the world. What you might find is, is your woven part is twisting. If that does happen, to bring it back out, just use your flat nose pliers and twist it back that way. Its tendency is to try and sort of turn on its side. Okay, that is right. I thought I'd gone the wrong way for a minute. Okay, so now we've got those in place. But as you saw, the kyanite's not going to sit in there. It's, it's, it's obviously not um, secured at all. We're now going to take the other one. Just let me double check which one that is. It is the inside one of these. So we're leaving the one on the outside. I'm going to take that one underneath. And then we're going to catch the other corner. Just bend that out of the way for a minute. Around there. Then we're going to cross over the back. Let's keep that corner in place. Around the back. There we go. Now that is caught. So we'll do the same the other side. We're going to catch that top. To turn it round, just to open those a bit, to come around, catch the corner, and go behind. Now you have got your cabochon should be sitting more or less in place. Okay, this is not a hundred percent secure, obviously, because it can still come out of the side here. So to, to, to do that, we're going to come back around and up over here. So we're going to just catch that and come across over those wires. So we're now, we're now sitting where that is, is sitting in place. Let's get rid of that one. You won't have as much problem with wires as I am because you can get rid of yours. That's the one that's staying there. And this is the one that comes around the back and up over there. So that cabochon is now caught in place. Okay, make sure that corner is right. There we go. So now we want to just put a little bit of gizmo coil on there. And I'm just going to, whether you've done it on a coiler, I'm just going to borrow a bit of this. Or whether you want to hand coil it, it doesn't matter. You only need about a centimetre, centimetre and a half slide it onto the end there we go this is just to give it a little bit of substance then we're going to take our wire and wrap it in fact that'll do both of them so I'm going to just ease that out make sure I don't trim the wrong wire okay and I just want to coil that around because that's going to form a stop point okay so you're going to do that both sides pop your other piece of coil on make them both the same size i've just quickly trimmed mine so about a centimeter is is, is ideal pop that down fetch your wire across coil that into place okay bit more of an angle there so you've got that little bit of a gap there we go okay so we've now got a secure cabochon that's not going anywhere now we can now start doing the rest so using these these are going to come up and around okay I've turned that the wrong way when you're Coiling round there, go underneath and wrap it round the other way because that will sit better. Well, it's not going to be too bad, so I want to come around there and then we're going to go back around. So we want these to go back around. We're going to take, we're going to leave that one, our main one that's coming out of the top here, is always going to be coming out of the top. Okay, let's get you out of the way. We can trim you off after. So we want this gap here. We want the gap here. So we're going to pull this one. We're now going to turn these and we want these to come back down. But before we do that, we want to take this one and we're going to take it 
around so that it's coming down here and we're going to add on our gizmo coil so we're going to turn this a little bit more like that so we can take this coil below fact I think I did it before I put it up there there we go so this now comes down there so let's put that to one side so instead of doing the, that wrap round, that goes that way first if you see what I mean okay whoops let's put you back up there right let's get our coil so gizmo coil you can do it hand coiled if you haven't got a gizmo uh, use use your point eight it because the point eight is so soft it will make this a lot harder but you can do it all you have to do with the point eight is make sure you're holding on as close to where you're coiling otherwise there'll be too much give once you've done your coil you're going to coil it again put that to one side so thread it so this is coiled with the point four thread the point four back through the middle okay wrap it round your gizmo or your make this shape with your point four uh, your point eight if you're making your own only because it will hold it better okay then i'm literally i've i've hold, held this if you've got the um clamp put the clamp on the table it's just i've not got room here and then i'm not pushing it round all i'm doing is turning and i'm using my thumb purely as a tension guide really so that it's not going anywhere else so it's only the the force of turning i'm not pulling that around to create that coil if you pull it round what will happen is this will gap when you get to the end re turn your co turn this the other way so hold your finger and reverse the wire reverse the wire because we're now going to go into the grooves let me undo that a minute release them i always keep my wire like that unless you've got the wire guard then otherwise you're going to do it, you're going to lose it right push that as hard as you can against it which is why you need this shape if you if you're using your own wire so push it as hard as you can because these gaps are then maintained and then you're going to take this wire make sure you've got plenty because it's surprising how much it goes to and i'm literally just guiding it so that it's lying and it will naturally go in that groove so just but but holding that tight because as soon as you slack it off you'll lose this wire into the groove itself and just follow that around it, it it's because it's got the groove it's just coiling around quite nicely if it does come out you can just reverse it and go back into where it should be just a couple of turns at the end unwrap and slide it off now at the ends because all wire has some memory you'll be able to snip those off and it will give you a nice finish on your end okay so now you've got your coil you want two this one's going to be shorter because we pinched a bit so you want your two coils that you can now fit on so we're going to slide this onto this wire now because i went the wrong way i just need to turn that a bit get my coil back down there go on in you go there we go so we're going to add this on and we're going to follow that around so where we've got our um weaving wire coming we've got this it's going to follow but i want to tuck it just behind so get yourself a nice curve going there it's going to go over the top of those wires but this is going to tuck behind so you're getting you're getting this sort of narrowing effect where you've got all of it here and then it's slowly does a 3d effect and um it just slowly curves in so you're getting this wide here going towards the narrow okay so again you're doing it both sides with these and then we're going to fasten those a bit further so put your wire on and take it over now we're going to 
sort out some of these wires. Let me fetch that out of the way. So we're going to fetch this. Over the top, we've got our coiling wire going on there. Underneath. Now you've got two choices. You can reverse the direction. Can you see how we're now on the inside so that these are, are, are going the same way? You can have them going either way. It doesn't matter. Let me put this other gizmo on here so you'll see it better. Let me slide that in. Okay, so this is going to sit underneath there. I'm going to attach it through the back. And then this one is going to come around. So you've got this gap that we've naturally got because we've curled round. Take your time about it. And again, these are going to go below around at the back. So you can see you're getting this sort of effect. Right, so I'm going to have to move on to this one. Let me take you through to here. So at the back, where you've got this um, cross piece on here, this is where we're aiming at being towards. Okay, so you're fetching these all in towards the cross piece just to get so that you can catch that there. So you've gone around there. We're coming around over the top and we've got the other wire coming through over to the cross piece. Then we've got the, so you can then just, I've just wrapped them round. I don't know whether you'll be able to pick that up. I'll photograph the back for you as well so you can pick that up there. The other one, and again, we've come around here with that one. Where's that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And around there. And we've attached them now when you're coming to the top you've got one coming out at the bottom end you've you've still got our main remember our main one coming out of the top we're going to co coil him lightly literally just make a loop to tuck in on the end at the other end we're going to add in another wire to match and then we're going to form our figure of eight bale. It's just a standard figure of eight bale over the top. And then with one of them, I fed it back through. So these are the two wires of the figure of eight. Feed one of them back through and fetch it over the top to create this tension point on there. And then with one of the wires we've got left, I've threaded on. Let me just put these in the right place. So I've threaded on my, what are they called, uh, appetite. Now you would feed, you would, you would put your wire in place. I've done this to try and make it easier, but it's not. Um, you would put your wire in place first, so that I literally just want them to run. They're not, um, what's the name? They're not channel set. I just want them to run along there, and I've caught those in all the way down can you see how i've sort of gone now I've done them too so one i've stopped at the end of the curve of that and stopped there and the other one i've taken all the way along it doesn't matter which way you do them it's fine but i did catch that in because otherwise that's a bit loose this one's fine like that and just attach it on the side so this wire we're just attaching it on the side there and as you can see here where I've had an extra long piece of wire, I've literally taken it round again, fed it underneath just to tie it off, um, and I haven't on there. It just depends where the wire is, how much wire you've got left. With the 60 centimetres, you've got more than enough wire. You could probably do easily just 50 centimetres, actually. Um, but I like to be over generous. So have fun. Um, play with it slightly differently. I just wanted that, that kyanite to stand so that you've got this gap around it. Um, but have fun um, and I look forward to seeing how you get on. <laughs>